Hey there everybody, it's me Joe and I want to welcome you back to my YouTube channel. In today's video I'm going to give you a really funny listening test and this one is going to be about whether or not you are or would be a bad employee. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of vocabulary having to do with jobs and you're going to hear different situations and you have to choose between three answers. I've made other videos like this in the past and it's very important that you follow the directions and you can get a full score and then you can get the final joke at the end. Also, listen carefully because there's going to be two secret codes. And if you see a secret code, I want you to tell me about it at Teacher Joe Crossman on Instagram. Send me a direct message because I want to know who my best students are. That means you. All right. So I'm going to read you a situation and then three possible responses. You choose one of them. One, two or three. Here we go. You are a garbage man and a guy sees you and throws some garbage on the ground at your feet and tells you to pick it up. What are you going to do? You will, number one, leave it where he threw it. Number two, ask him to pick it up. Or three, throw it back in his face. See how he likes it. All right. <laughs> so you choose which one of those fits your personality more. One, two, or three, and then write down that number. You have to remember the numbers. Let's go on to number two. You are a bus driver. Someone is sleeping on your bus, and he won't wake up. You will, number one, ignore him, get off the bus, and just go home. Number two, yell, wake up as loud as you can. Or number three, lay down on the bus floor and sleep with the guy. <laughs> you could use a good snooze. <laughs> All right, so which one are you going to do? Number one, number two, or number three? Write down that number, okay? Now, I've had lots of jobs in the world, and there's all kinds of different scenes, uh, scenarios or situations that happen. What I want you to do is down in the comments, write me a question. Say, hey, Joe, have you ever been a... And I'll tell you if I have, and I'll tell you a funny story about when I was in that job. Hey, Joe, have you ever been a doctor? Hey, Joe, have you ever been a firefighter? Anything. And I'll give you an answer down below. All right. Now let's go to situation number three. You are a police officer in a big city. You see a guy selling drugs on a street corner. You will, number one, not care because your shift is over in 20 minutes. Number two, call the police. Or number three, buy some drugs from him and take a long break. Using drugs is so cool. All right, so which one are you going to do? <laughs> Not care? Call the police? <laughs> Buy some drugs. One, two, or three. Write down that number, okay? Let's, oh. <laughs> and the, you've made it this far. That's fantastic. The secret code that I want you to send me on Instagram is great employee. All right. So send that to me in a direct message and I'll know you've made it this far. You're doing great, but don't stop. All right. You want to be great. You want to get better at English. Keep going right to the end. Here we go. Situation number four. You are a pilot. The plane is going to crash. You will, one, put on a parachute and jump out. Two, try to save the plane and land it safely. Or three, turn on the TV and watch your favorite TV show. You have to enjoy the little moments. <laughs> All right, so which one? Parachute, try to land the plane, or turn on the TV? 
One, two, or three. Which one are you going to choose? <laughs> All right. Now let's go on to scenario number five. This is our last one. Here we go. You are a bartender. A lot of pretty girls are smiling at you while you are working. You will, number one, just do your job. Pretty girls are not as important as serving beer. Number two, smile back at the girls and chat them up so they will give you bigger tips. Or number three, get their phone numbers, get, get phone numbers from all of them because you want to be a playboy. Oh, oh, oh. All right, so which one of those answers would you choose? One, ignore the girls, smile at the girls, get the phone numbers of the girls. All right, one, two, or three, choose one of those. All right, now you have gotten five situations, you should have five numbers. Add those numbers up, you should have a total number between five and 15. Okay, and that number is going to lead to the answer of whether or not you are a bad employee. Uh, I want to remind you, write down in the comments uh, some question. Hey, Joe, have you ever, if you think about some job question, and I'll write back to you and I'll joke with you. All right. And if you've made it this far, you are fantastic. I want you to know the second secret code is employee of the month. So send that to me in a direct message on Instagram and I'll know that you've made it this far. Fantastic. All right. Now let's take a look and see what your score means. All right. If your score is five or six, that means you are a boring employee. Your boss doesn't even know your name. All right. Sorry. If your score is seven or eight, you're a pretty good employee. Good for you. If your score is nine to 11, how did you get this job? All right. And the last one, 12 to 15, if your score is 12 to 15, you should be in jail. <laughs> All right. Okay, so if there's any vocabulary in that uh, or any idioms that you heard that you didn't understand, just ask me down below and I'll tell you, okay? I do this in my classes and my I, I make these exercises on purpose so students will ask me questions, all right? So don't be shy, just ask. All right, and now if you want to continue learning, just click on one of these other videos that I'm putting up here now. They are similar and funny surveys that you can take and you can hear some more vocabulary and more funny jokes and you can see a nice beard and a different shirt. <laughs> okay, that's it for today. See you later.